Hi, I'm Adam Brooks Weber. This is the Merry Mystic, and I'm glad you're here. On this rainy spring morning, I have a new poem to share with you. It's sort of a prayer poem, actually sort of a confession. And I'm going to step out of the frame and let you enjoy this beautiful spring day while I read it. Already and always enough. The hardest commandment you ever gave me, dear spirit friend, was this, to enjoy being alive and to speak for the joy of being alive. And I need your help now because I'm screwing it up. Yes, still. I am guilty of impossible guessing. Yes to one project on top of another. Yes to writing, composing, and singing. Yes to speaking, preaching, recording, and posting. Yes to everyone who calls, emails, or walks into my office. Yes, yes, yes. I am guilty of egregious multitasking. This past week, I worked on writing while not enjoying a movie at home with my family. I worked on a speech while not enjoying a hot shower. I worried about my church while not enjoying lying in my warm bed. In short, I was a fraud. I posed as a speaker for the joy of being alive while not enjoying being alive. And I was ungrateful, another great sin. I was like a child who counts up his birthday presents and then complains that there are not enough of them. I wished for more hours and every day and more productivity and more money. I said in the silence of my heart, I need more power. And forgive me, but that was a prayer. It was to you that I spoke, dear spirit friend, when I said it. To you I said, help me, and I need more. But what I really meant was, you're not helping me enough. What you've given me is not enough. What I am is not enough. So please may I ask for your help again, this time I'll stipulate that when I say, help me, what I really mean is, help me to see how your help is already and always enough. Oh, spirit friend, please help me to enjoy your abundance and to enjoy being abundant and to know how it is enough and I am enough already and always. Amen.